Hey guys, in this video we will be doing factorization by removing the common factor. We will start with some simple problems and then we will increase in difficulty until we get to the most difficult question will be right at the end. Let's begin. When we look at this algebraic expression, you have two terms here, you have 2x and you have 10. The first step is to find the common factor. The common factor between 2x and 10 is 2. And of course, we should take the highest common factor. Now, 2 is the highest common factor between the two. How do we factorize? So what we're going to do is we're going to take out the 2 from these two terms. This will be equals to, when we do factorization, essentially what we are doing is division. We are simply dividing each term by the highest common factor. How do we do this? First, we write the common factor outside the bracket which is 2, then we write a big bracket here and now you just copy back the original expression as it is which is 2x plus 10, so this would be 2x plus 10 and now what we are going to do is we are going to divide each individual term with the highest common factor which is 2, which is what we took out so divide by 2 and divide by 2 and that's it, this is factorization what we will get is 2, and here we can simplify, 2 and 2 becomes 1, this is 5 and 1. And what we are left with is x plus 5. This is how we perform factorization. Essentially, it is division. Now, let's try another simple problem. Once again, we have two terms here, 3xy and 11y. The highest common factor between the two, it's easy to look at the number first, and then we look at the variable. In this case, the numbers 3 and 11, there are no common factors. Whereas for the variables x, y and y, there is a common factor. And the common factor this time is the variable y. This is our common factor. And this is what we are going to take out. We are going to take out y from the expression. This is equals to, we do the same thing here. First, we write what we have taken out outside the bracket, then we write a big bracket, copy back exactly the original expression 3xy plus 11y and now we are going to divide by whatever we have taken out which is y, so divide by y, divide by y and here what will happen is y and y, y will divide by y and we will get 1 and 1 and what we are left with is y on the outside of the bracket, we factorize y and 3x plus 11. So this is the general method. Now let's go to a bit more difficult question. When we look at this expression, you will see that there are two negatives. So this time, we can factorize negative 1. So the numbers 5 and 15, the highest common factor is 5. So we are going to factorize negative 5 on the number side. We are going to take out negative 5. Now let's look at the variables. Variables, we have y, z and z. So we can take out z. And so this is what we are going to take out of this expression. We are going to write it outside as we did. Negative 5z on the outside, square bracket, the big bracket. Write down exactly the expression, negative 5yz minus 15z. And this time, we are going to divide by negative 5z and divide by negative 5z. So, as usual, we just perform the operation. This will become negative 5 and negative 5 will just become positive 1. z and z will become positive 1 as well. 5 and 15 again negative and negative. So, we get 3 and 1 this will become positive because negative 1 divided by negative 1 so we get positive and then z and z we get 1 and 1 and what we are left with is negative 5z in the brackets we have y plus 3 this is what is left and now we have factorized negative 5z what if we are dealing with a variable with power so let's look at this expression we have 12a and 9a cubed, negative 9a cubed. The numbers 12 and 9, highest common factor is of course 3. So we are going to take out 3. From these two, we will take out 3. 
And when we look at the variables, we have A and AQ. The highest common factor here is A. This time we are going to take out 3A from the expression. This would be equals to, we write 3A outside, and then in the bracket we copy down the expression, the original expression as it was. And now we are ready to perform division. When we perform division, we divide by whatever we took out. So we've taken out 3a, divide by 3a, divide by 3a. Once again, just perform the operation. So divide by 3, we will get 4 and 1, 1 and 1, and this will be 3 and 1. A, a cubed divided by a will simply become a squared. Now we just have to copy this down, 3a, Inside the bracket, we have 4 minus 3a squared. Let's get to some difficult problems now. In this expression, we have the numbers 7 and 14 at the numerator. And the highest common factor from that would be 7. So this and this, we would take out 7 at the numerator. So we separate the numerator from the denominator. From the denominator, the highest common factor, we have m and m square n. So the highest common factor will be m. We are going to take out m. So this time we are going to factorize a fraction. Now how do we do this? We do it exactly the same way as we have been doing. This would be equals to, first we write whatever we are taking out from the expression outside, that is 7 over m. And now inside the bracket, we are going to copy back exactly the expression, which is 7 over m square n plus 14 over m. And we're going to do exactly the same thing, but this time we'll be dividing by a fraction. So when you divide by a fraction, this will be divide 7 over m and divide 7 over m. And now, all we have to do is perform the division. There's two ways to do this. If you want to do the normal division of fraction, what we do is 7 over m square n. Since it is divided by fraction, it will be multiply the reciprocal of the fraction in the denominator. What does this mean? If we have divided by 7 over m, 7 over m, this will simply become multiply m over 7. So you flip the denominator and the numerator, you get a reciprocal. And when we perform this operation, you can just simplify. So you will get this. 1 over mn is left. Here, let me write this down first. This will be equals to 7 over m. In the bracket, we have 1 over mn. Now, there's another way to do this. And I find this to be the simplest way. But of course, you can use any way that you like. In this way, all you do is you match the numerator and numerator and denominator and denominator. So for example, when I'm simplifying, I look at the numerator 14 and 7. So when I simplify this, I will get 1 and 2. And then I look at the denominator, m and m, 1 and 1. So all we are left with is 2. This will be plus 2. And this is how we do it. This is how you factorize a fraction. It is the same method. Let's try another fraction. Again, when you look at the numbers here, we have 24, negative 24, and 8. The highest common factor here would be 8. So on the numbers, we are taking out 8 as the numerator. For the variables, let's look at the variables. We have k square, it's not a common factor. We have p, q, and q. So q is the common factor in the denominator. So this will be 8 over q. This is what we are going to take out from here. As usual, this will be equal to, let's write 8 over q first on the outside, the bracket, and then in the bracket, as usual, first we copy down exactly, so negative 24k square over pq plus 8 over q. And now we are going to do the division divide whatever we've taken out, which is 8 over q. So divide 8 over q, and divide 8 over q. And now, just perform the operation. So, as I said, you could use any one of the methods that you'd like. 
but I find it simpler just to do it this way. So look at the numerator and numerator, 24 and 8, we have 1 and 3. Look at the denominator, we have Q and Q. And now we look at the other side, we have 8 and 8 and Q and Q. So this is what is left and we will get 8 over Q. In the bracket, you will have negative 3k square over e plus 1. This is how we factorize this. Now let's go to the most difficult type of factorization and that is when you have to remove a whole expression. Let's look at this expression here. We have 7c minus 10d bracket square minus 7c minus 10d bracket q over 4d. The highest common factor here would actually be this whole thing. This is the highest common factor between the two because here we have a square and here we have a cube. Now, how do we do this? We apply the same principle. This will be equal to, let's remove the highest common factor first. That would be bracket 7c minus 10d bracket square. So this is the highest factor between the two. We use the same principle. Now, inside the bracket, as usual, we copy down exactly what it is, which is 7c minus 10d square. And then we have minus, now we have the fraction, 7c minus 10d cubed over 4d. And now we just divide by whatever we are taking out, which is 7c minus 10d square, and here it is the same thing, 7c minus 10d square. Now we can perform our operation, and that is, we have to remove this, and this will divide to become 1, and here, this is actually 7c minus 10d square over 1. So we apply the same principle again, this would be the square and this would become 1. And here 4D is still 4D, nothing changes there. And what we are left with is 7C minus 10D square. This is what we took out. Inside the bracket, we have 1. Don't forget the 1. We have 1 minus 7C minus 10D over 4d. This is what is left. We can actually simplify this further. This would be equals to 7c minus 10d square. In the bracket, since we have d and d, the numerator and the denominator, we can combine this number and make it into a fraction. This would become 4d minus 7c minus 10d over 4d. So this is what we get. Now remember 1 can be written as 4d over 4d. This is how we get this 4d here. And so when we simplify this, this will be equals to 7c minus 10d square and in the bracket we have 4d minus 10d. That would be negative 6d minus 7c over 4d. We can do one more thing and that is we can factorize negative 1 since both are negative. So when you factorize negative 1, same thing here, this will become positive and this will become positive. And this is the final answer. I hope this has made factorization very simple for you. If it has, please do me a favor and hit that like button. Really does help with channel growth. If you found this video useful, do share it with your friends. You never know who you might help. If you enjoy videos like this, do subscribe. I will produce at least one video a week. And I will see you guys in the next video.